Welcome, I'm Eric Myers with Myers Mushrooms. This is my wet bagging machine. This is the newest model um, I've gotten with FCS, which is a company out of Kansas. Uh, they're about two hours from me and uh, they redesigned this thing. So it looks and functions the same, but the way of manufacturing and all the parts is a lot better, a lot more refined. Uh, one of the, the most notable things that they added is a shelf and this shelf adjusts by just pulling the pins on the back and then sliding the whole shelf down to the next level. So depending on what size bags you're running, you could run the top or the bottom shelf or how tall you are or whatever. Um, some other changes that they made since the last video that I did about this is we now have a sight window so you can see when you're out of grain or out of pellets. So one side has soybean hull, one side has fuel pellets or alfalfa or beet pulps or whatever you're using as a supplement. Um, it can even do the wheat bran. You're, you're probably gonna be around 30% at the lowest setting, maybe 25% at the lowest setting uh, on, the, on the right side. And then uh, the other side is the fuel pellets. Some of the manufacturing changes, you can see they rolled the edges. It gives a little more structural rigidity. This used to just be a straight panel. Um, and then the whole thing is manufactured using bending instead of uh, cuts and welds. Uh, another big change is the valve. So this valve went from, I think it was like nine pieces to one, two, three, four pieces. So they, they not only simplified the manufacturing of it, but it looks a lot cleaner. The top is now completely sealed off. There's nothing that can fall in and, or fingers can get caught in there. There's, it's completely guarded on the top side. And um, that, that's another new addition to it. Another new addition is the valves here. So these are control valves. They're, I call them special function valves. So one of them turns off your water. Like let's say if you wanna just see how much pellets are dropping um, to make sure that your, your numbers are on or, or your, your numbers are correct. So you can turn off your water and you can just dr drop the pellets. You can also do a silo drain, which what that does is it holds the top valve open the whole time, and then when you step on the pedal, it just dumps everything. It'll just keep going until it's completely empty. Let's say if you wanted to switch supplements or if you had to maintain something and you want to drain out the silo, well, you just flip this switch and, and step on the pedal. Uh, it also has a silo on off if you want to troubleshoot your water or see how much water you're dropping. So you turn the silo off and that disables your bottom valve so that it never opens up and never drops the pellets and it'll just dump water over and over again however much you want. Um, what else? So the other changes are the tank up here. One of the issues we had with the earlier models was we had splashing uh, to where when the, the water valve turns on it would splash and now we have a lid up here and a weather strip seal that seals off the splashing from getting into your pellet. So that's, that's an improvement that we made. Also, as you can see down here, there's now a bottom support bar, but it is dual function. So not only does it brace the bottom and give you anchor points to do your anchor bolts to the floor, it also allows you to either forklift this whole thing or pallet jack it. So if you need to move this around your shop and you have a pallet jack, well, now this thing is basically on casters. I wouldn't necessarily put one of these on casters because they're a top heavy silo, um, but you can pallet jack them around as needed. Also, the pedal is now permanently mounted. The other models, it just kind of moved around on you. So now we put a bar, we have a right, middle, and left holes that are already pre-tapped. So you would just unscrew the screws and screw it to whichever setting you want, if you're right-footed or left-footed, or if you just want it right in the middle. Um, so you can adjust that. Um, the capacity of this is around 350 pounds per side, which puts you around 140 10 and a half pound bags per fill. We also have a one foot extension. This is another addition just for these models with the rolled tops, because that's where it attaches to, um, the FCS models. Because uh, I know some people already have these. Uh, the attachment extends another foot up I'm not sure exactly how much that's going to add to it. I'm guessing at least another 100, maybe even 200 pounds per side. It should put the capacity per fill well above 200 bags per fill, which would compare this to around a two yard batch mixer when it comes to uh, fill capacity and how much you can bag out without having to stop. The one advantage of this over a batch mixer is 
you don't have to wait for your mix-in time. With a batch mixer, you gotta load everything, let everything blend, and then dispense your water, which takes a long time, you know, we're talking hundreds of liters, and then waiting for all that moisture to even out. So with this, you don't have to do that at all. You just fill it up and go. Um, where you do have to wait a little bit is when you bag them out, and I'll go ahead and show you guys this thing working. When you bag it, I had the silo off. When you bag it, see it's a little wet, so I, what I do is I put them in these milk crates. And what, how I do it is I do nine per layer. I, this is a drum, a sterilizer drum right here. I have a 110 gallon Bubba's sterilizer drum. That's what, this is the door to the cabinet. Um, so that drum, I do five layers of nine, I believe, or six layers of nine, something like that. So what I do is I do nine bags, I'll bag them all out, and then I'll stop and I'll fold them all. So while I'm bagging those nine out, that first, second, third, and fourth one are already ready to, they're fully swollen, ready to be bagged and, and, or and loaded. Um, so that way they're all swollen. If you, if you don't wait for them to swell fully, one of the issues that I've ran into is that it really compresses the bag. So look at that bag and then compare to this bag, same exact everything, you know, same amount of pellet, same amount of water. Um, and by the way, these are 10.5 to 10.7. Uh, depending on what your moisture content is adjusted to, but it drops within a tenth of a pound every time. Um, so what happens is if you were to take this bag that's just barely been bagged, this is the one that I just showed you, and I were to fold it down and then put it away, what happens is it really compresses the, ba the pellets. And then when you're in the spawn lab and you're trying to break it up and mix in your spawn, it's a lot harder. So I find it better to let them swell for a good 30 seconds to a minute or two, let them get to this level, and then fold them and load them. Um, so yeah, that's the latest. Uh, right now I'm waiting on, my improvement for this is gonna be TR. Me and him worked out a deal. He's given me his 20 foot uh, grain auger. So I'm gonna have a grain auger up here, uh, hanging from a chain, and then some kind of adjustment cable or chain that can swing it back and forth, left or right. Uh, and then it's gonna go out that way to my garage door and I'll have a hoist that can hoist it up out of the way when it's not in use. But when I wanna fill this sucker up, instead of having to climb up with a ladder and dumping bags, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower that, that hoist down over there and then just dump it into a hopper on the ground and then it'll auger it up into here. And then when I get the one side filled, I'll just move it over and then change over to the soybean hull or the fuel pellets. Uh, optimally, I'm gonna get silos outside. That's my dream is to get some old used silos which you can get for about $1,000, $800 for like a 12 ton or a 20 ton. Uh, and then get at least the soybean hulls delivered bulk where a truck comes and augers it up into my, my silo and then I can just auger that into this. So I never even touch my substrate. That's my goal. Uh, I wanna do that. Soybean hull, fuel pellets and the grain, but the problem with the fuel pellets is I can't find them in bulk, um, at least not uh, in bulk in, in oak. So, so yeah, that's the latest bagger. Uh, I do have three of these in stock, or two of these in stock, I just sold one. So I have two of them in stock ready to ship, so if you need one, I'll have it on a truck the next day pretty much, uh, or maybe the following depending on coordination, but it's, and then it, it could be at you in within two or three days, maybe four or five if you're on the coast. Um, so yeah, that's the latest and greatest from Myers Mushrooms. Uh, this is my baby, I've been working on this thing. For those that aren't familiar, I've been developing this for over two years now. This is like the 10th version of everything. We've, been, we've really, this is the one with the most amount of changes, but every change has just been improving it more and more. So uh, hopefully you like this video. Hit me up if you would like to buy one of these. I'm also selling just the valve portion if you just wanna buy the valve and then build your own hopper out of I don't care what. It doesn't have to be steel, it could be plywood. It can be fiberglass. It could be a, a IBC tote and you attach this to the bottom of it and put a plywood divider down the middle of it. Get inventive. But yeah, I am selling these valves. Uh, the main reason why I went with square is because I was having issues. Those of you who are familiar with the bagger, I'm pretty sure that's in frame. The, the bagger that I made out of knife valves like that, but they were the four inches, that's just metering water. I made one where it's metering pellets. The issue with that is the, the apex of the seals on the sides 
jams with pellets over time. So people have tried to get them to work and some people have it working but they have to like drill it out and hack it up. Uh, so what I did with this one, I went square. So this is now a square valve and it's like a blade that chops through everything. So there's nowhere really for it to jam as, as much. It can still jam a little bit, but I mean, these are pretty big cylinders on here. Um, so that's why it is square. It's square for the purpose of chopping off the pellets uh, and sealing up better. Um, so if you're interested in that, check out MyersMushrooms.com. I, I don't have them listed yet. You can definitely message me or email me about it. Um, and I'm not settled on the price yet, but it'll be this valve assembly with this water chute. So, and those will be special order. I don't have them in stock. All right, let's see how fast this thing is. And so because of the water valve, the water tank is actually a float valve up there. I don't have to wait for it to stop flowing. It's going to keep flowing the whole time. It's about a two gallon capacity and I'm only dropping around three quarters of a gallon. And you can hear the compressor. Uh, you should be able to hear the compressor, I think, in the background. It's just a little pancake compressor. You don't need much. This thing doesn't use much air, it's just some pistons moving back and forth. A couple cubic inches of, of air every cycle. Look at that trick, did you guys see that? You grab two bags, so you have another one when you're on your next one. I'll do it just for demonstration purposes. Saves you a little stroke. I did that by accident. <laughs> All right. Boom, 10 bags. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my Patreon if you want to support my channel. Check out MyersMushrooms.com to sh shop your mushroom equipment needs and your bag supplies. And uh, stay tuned for my spawn. I will have spawn very soon. So take it easy. Keep on mushrooming.